been here for three years um what i really love about this incubator is it holds a lot of eggs it holds 42 eggs and you can incubate anything up to ema eggs the, the biggest eggs you can put in here um but you will have to turn it because in here the, as you can see there's a little automatic motor right there it's silver might be able to see, I don't know. And it turns all of these because I don't know why, but it turns them. And then with the other incubators, you have to come every other hour and come turn them. Because that can be a little bit annoying. Like in the middle of the night, you have to turn them. So basically all you have to do for this incubator is add some water with a turkey baster or a syringe and you're going to want distilled water before you do it because the minerals will like build up and stuff and and candling on incubators if some of you do not know what candling is candling is when you hear I can show you so we're now in the bathroom because it is the darkest place in our house and all you're going to need for a candle so all you're going to need for candling is a flashlight, any type that will just fit an egg right there, and a nice dark room, and an incubated egg that's usually seven days old or so. So I'm going to turn the lights off, it might be a little tiny bit dark for a little while, but so um, I do not see anything. Um, what you're seeing right there, the dark, that is the color of the egg and the yolk. Wait, I just see something. I see something. You see something right there. So you think that You might be able to see it. But it kind of looks like something just start, started to grow. Let me find it. And then it died. That is very common where it starts to grow and then it dies. We don't know why, but... This egg had a little tiny thing that looked like two days old growing, but nothing. Um, I don't typically like to do this because it lets humidity and the air out. Yeah. Go ahead. So when you're gonna put the egg, which I already have all of them, in the incubator, you are basically going to want to put the fat side on the bottom, which is the fat side. This one's kind of hard to tell because it's a pretty weird shaped egg and if you ever get perfectly rounded egg that's pretty uncommon for um, farm fresh eggs or home eggs from your house because usually that's not good because chickens get stressed that's what that happens when they get stressed so I don't like candling because it lets pretty much almost all the air and the humidity out which it was just at 60 60 humidity, but now it's at 56. That's so now the humidity is kind of low for me doing the candling, which I saw nothing. I only did one egg, as you saw, because and the first 
first couple days you might be kind of nervous on how much water you add. I would probably add usually maybe a quarter cup or somewhere around this little mark right here. Um, you can, or you can just count by turkey basters. So I usually do four or five turkey basters a day. But if your house is cold like ours kind of is because it's kind of winter here, you're going to need more. Which, that's why I'm doing. Okay, so that's enough for now. Okay, so now let's get over so you can see. So, there is whole water. Now, there's a little system down there that does it. So, I'm going to pop this out. And it gets kind of messy, but that's just how it is. And then you just stick it in this hole and do a little screw the end. And there you go, you got your humidity. I usually like to do the whole thing, or just a quarter of it, or how much. And the humidity just went down for some reason. It will do that because the humidity area. And if you come here and come look right here, you will see more water on this side than that side because this is where I add my humidity. So there is more right there. And um, I find it's helpful to print a little chart out. So we are current, there's the chart right there. And be careful what you print. Make sure it's not duck or goose or any sort of animal because Ducks and goose usually take, well, as far as I know, take 28 days. So, right now, this is where we're at right now. This is what they look like. And you're usually not going to really see them. All it might look like of candling is you might just see some veins. Now, when they will start hatching, you will probably see day before, and don't turn your incubator off after the hatching day. Leave it on for about a week because we have had chicks hatch like three weeks out and stuff. Once we put one in the garbage can and it started hatching, then we put it back in and we started up again. So, so now I will show you every. I do it three times a day, lunch, breakfast, lunch, and dinner I do it. Usually at 8 when I wake up, and then 12, and then 5. And this is just the temperature, not the humidity. Okay. And then this is my humidity. I just write this. It's bad writing because I, sometimes I'm just half awake. I'm just like, okay. And I like to hire it, like I said before, on start of the uh, when it three days before the when hatching I hope you enjoyed this video and bye